Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm joined by my wife Brenna today and we have a very important question for you Brenna because you are representing all of the women worldwide today <laughs> because we need to know which toe shapes do women find most attractive on men. You think you're up for it? I'm up for the challenge. All right then, let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya on my way. Of course, Brenna is going to have different opinions from somebody else out there. Everybody has their own opinions on toe shapes and boot styles, but I thought it would be a fun sort of exercise to see which are the best toe shapes and maybe that you are most interested in going out on a date in. If you have several different kinds. And if you don't have cowboy boots yet, maybe this is a hint into which toe shapes you might want to get. We're going to start with the Arto, which is the medium round. How do you feel about the Arto? It's not offensive. What stands out to me is that it's a well cared for boot. It's not showing a ton of like wear. The toe isn't beat up. Mm -hmm. And I think that actually says a lot more than necessarily the toe shape. But I will say like with a point of your toe, it's a lot easier for those kinds of like scratches and really serious gross deep cuts to like get on it. So, I mean, I, I think it's good. When you wear a narrower toe shape, it just kind of like continue because you're so tall, I feel like it just, it even makes you look a little bit taller. It gives you a very much like a gentleman mm -hmm. kind of look. And I like when you look like a gentleman, you mm -hmm. know, you just look very like put together. And that's one of the reasons why the medium round toe or the R toe is one of my favorite shapes is because it works really well with my body shape. If you don't have a skinny frame, then this might differ depending on what your body shape is like. But for me, the medium round is always a safe way to go. It's not like the most attractive, but it's not the most ugly either in my opinion. All right, next up is the snip toe. Now, I got married to her in this boot, so you probably already know what she's gonna say, but Brenna, how do you feel about a snip toe when it comes to finding men attractive in this <laughs> toe shape? Well, I feel like I don't normally love a snip toe, actually. Oh, really? It's usually too pointy, but these particular shoes I like because it feels purposeful. Because there's so much going on, it's almost like a relief to the eye that it does get a little bit narrower and it seems like well put together. It's a good design. Yeah, it's really well designed. Mm -hmm. um, so I normally don't like snip toes, but I think that these are really, these are awesome. And these are, these are the boots you wore for a wedding, so these are, I'm really biased. <laughs> I loved our wedding. It was a great day. It was awesome. The best day ever. <laughs> All right, next up is the French toe. This is another Cayman boot. Brenna, how do you feel about a French toe? I feel like this is probably as wide as you should go mm -hmm. with toes. I like these. I mean, these you had before I met you, which is... Not too long before we met, though. Yeah, but still. These boots outdate me, and that's wild. And we've been together for 10 years. <laughs> so, you've loved boots longer than you've loved me. It's fine. But I think these, they look good on you, and I think they remind me of when we first started dating, which I... You know, I have a soft spot in my heart for when we first fell in love, and that's, yep. you know, I love that. This is the boot that I would wear when I wanted to impress her on our first dates. The French toe works, guys. <laughs> I mean, that's what I've learned from this. French toe. <laughs> it works. All right, next up is the J toe. I feel like this one, again, very similar to the very first boot that we looked at. I feel like because it is so pointy, those scuffs can really stand out. Mm -hmm. And so I think for that reason, it's like, you've got to clean these boots up. You've got to make sure that they look good. Um, these are also lighter colors, so they're showing a little bit extra. But I think these look good on you. When you feel good about yourself and you put on these boots, I can tell. Mm -hmm. And I love that you feel confident in these. And so I'm attracted to you when you wear these shoes because you love them and you feel good in them. That's so, a great point. Uh, that you guys can take away from this is that if you have a pair of boots that makes you feel like your best self, 
then that's what really matters because you'll be confident, you'll be showing your best self, she'll like you for it, maybe even love you for it. She might not like square toe or a French toe, but if you like it and you are kicking ass and taking names in it, maybe that's all that matters. That's so true, because when you put these boots on, you're just like, yeah, I'm confident, I'm cool. You have to be when you wear these boots. <laughs> all right, Brenna, here we have the most round. This is the U-toe. How do you feel about a U-toe? I think the U-toe is fine. I don't think it really does much for your body shape. I think it's just like, it's whatever. Of those styles we've already been through, this is my least favorite. Really? Yeah. Just because it's just whatever? It's just whatever. It doesn't really say like style. It just kind of is like middle of the road. It doesn't feel like you're really saying anything. I don't feel like when you put, put these boots on, you feel super confident or super special. I know you like these boots and that they're rated well. I also really, I just don't like the leather. You don't like bull hide? Oh. These particular ones, it's just like, mm. What about these, this, these ones? The, this is the same toe shape. I like these better. Yeah? Yeah. So, you know, it's a combo. It's like the toe shape and the leather, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Which we'll get into in a second. I have the perfect example because I know exactly how she's going to react to these next two. Moment of truth on the wide square toe with a double stitched welt. Brenna, how do you feel about this boot? I think these are very unattractive. How do you really feel about this boot? <laughs> I think when you wear them, you shouldn't wear them. <laughs> she hates this boot, is it's, what she's saying. The toe is one thing, but these are red. These are obnoxious. Mm -hmm. If you made a duck really angry and his feet turned red, and he was like stomping around, that's these boots, <laughs> and I hate them. And they don't go with anything that you own either. <laughs> They're just. What like, about wide square toes in general? Minus the red, <laughs> minus the color, minus yeah. that you hate these boots altogether. <laughs> I think wide square toes in general, like we already talked about, you're a thin guy. Like there's not a lot of room for error. You're pretty much an up and down line, and so, when you're also doing that in your shoes, it's a little too much. Mm -hmm. For it overwhelms your already like fairly thin frame. Mm -hmm. If if you were a bodybuilder or if you had a little bit more mass to you, I feel like you could pull it off a little bit better. But you're just too small for these boots. <laughs> it is pretty awkward finding <laughs> jeans that actually work with wide square toes. Another example of a wide square toe with a double stitched welt, except this time. It's a lizard boot and a more acceptable color altogether. I love these boots. I think that you look incredible in these boots. These are actually the runner up choice for the wedding. Yeah, I was about to choose these. And you can see that video in my thought process at the link above or in the description. I think that you look great in these boots. I think the color really compliments you. There's something about the way that these boots kind of taper in just ever so slightly and they also feel skinnier on the side like there's just not as much heft yeah to them so overall they just feel like a narrower boot whether or not they're the same size or not i don't know no they are a little bit um more narrow as you can see it's it's a, little a little bit, bit more narrow yep and because there's not all of the like scale on the side it just looks a little bit more streamlined. It doesn't look as like high contrast. It's a little bit more natural looking. It doesn't look as wide in the same way. And mm -hmm. so I like that about these shoes. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. I like these ones better too. And it is also much more expensive than the other. <laughs> I have extensive taste. What can I say? <laughs> all right, Brenna. So those are all of the toe shapes that I have for you today. What is like the biggest takeaway that you have for everybody watching about what kinds of toe shapes to wear in order to attract women with, I guess, this particular form of style? I think the number one thing is what are you confident in? What do you feel good in? What do you put on and you're just like, heck yeah, someone's gonna love me. Like that's the shoe that you're just going to exude confidence in. Mm -hmm. And I think cowboy boots honestly give people that. Oh, without it. I don't know if it's like men put on the little 
three quarter inch heel and they're like, oh yes, feeling fancy. But it's the same for women. You put on a heel and you're like, look out everyone. So, I mean, if you've got a pair of shoes that you feel good in, that's the one to wear on your date. What is your favorite that you've looked at all today? <sighs> that's so hard. I think that my favorite is the J-Toe. Whoa, I did yeah. not expect her to say J-Toe. That was this one, everybody. It's, like I said, it's not always my favorite, but you just put those boots on and you become a different person. And so for that reason, I think that it's awesome. Also, I think that if you saw someone rocking this very traditional boot style, it's just so classic. Cool. Yep, and it's not gonna work for every body shape too, so. See, I think that it could. <laughs> you think it I think that this toe could work for every body all shape. All right, all right. That's a challenge. Okay, if you have a pair of boots that you think you don't look good in, post it. Yeah, <laughs> go to the Facebook group. Let's start a conversation around it. Are any women watching right now who disagree with any of Brenna's comments? I wanna know down in the comments. We're gonna be in there. We're gonna be looking at what you say and I'm super interested to see what you think as well. Thank you so much for watching today. Brenna, thank you so much for joining me. This was a lot of fun and at the perfect time because this will be posted around Valentine's Day. So you got time if you're watching this right when it's posted to pick out the perfect pair for Valentine's Day. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video while you're here. Cheers, we'll see you next time. What style of boots makes the ladies most impressed? Has more to do with the boot that gives you the most confidence. Yeah. Thanks for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Don't forget to subscribe yet if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Good luck out there. Peace. I'll see you around.